Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Saturday, May 2nd of 2020. We're right now, especially in the United States, it's becoming increasingly difficult to follow all of the laws and mandates that are being instituted. As a result, we are seeing more and more rebellion to governmental leaders, their platforms, and their programs. Because of this, lawlessness is abounding and the love of many is truly growing cold. We are actually starting to see some of the things in Matthew 24 come to pass right before our eyes. In Romans 13, though, it's pretty clear regarding the issue of believers submitting to the authorities over us. Really, the only time we're not to submit is when we are required to do something that is contrary to the precepts of Father God. For we are to submit to God in all things. So today, this morning's prayer reminds us that we are to be in submission to our governing authorities as long as they don't require us to break God's precepts. Father, this is a time in the earth of upheaval and unrest among the people. So many things are changing, and the changes are seemingly more than the people are willing to accept or deal with. Your word instructs us that every soul is to be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from you, and the authorities that exist are appointed by you. Continually remind us that those who rebel against authority are rebelling against you and what you have instituted, and that those who do so will bring judgment upon themselves. Father, you have instituted government because in this fallen world we need certain restraints to protect us from the chaos and the lawlessness that results from sin. You have ordained government to be an agent of justice, to restrain evil by punishing the wrongdoer, and to protect the good of the people in society. Therefore, it's necessary for us to submit to our authorities, not only because of a possible punishment, but also because of the sake of our conscience. However, Father, when the authorities abandon their proper function, they are no longer from you, nor operating according to your plan. When the authorities require something from us that is contrary to your word, we must obey your word rather than the dictates of men. Help us to be so very discerning with this, not using it to validate our own desires. Father, may we remember that it is our duty as your children to pray for all who are in authority. We can have an effect on how the government operates because the effectual, fervent prayer of righteous men and women avail much. It's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.